what we found is that risk is not just dependent on how much a woman drinks during pregnancy, but it also depends on the genetic makeup of her unborn child. So for example, in this twin study that we just did, twins provide this excellent opportunity to be able to look at two individuals who have been experience essentially identical prenatal alcohol exposure throughout a whole nine month pregnancy. But what's fascinating is then with the, the fraternal twins when they're not genetically identical, we see that despite identical exposures, over half of them have different fetal alcohol outcomes despite having, again, the identical exposures. So what we learned from that is that genetics is actually impacting how the alcohol impacts the fetus. So the same level of alcohol exposure that can be risky for one fetus can actually be of little risk or even more risk for the other fetus. So this has huge kind of public health implications. Fetal alcohol syndrome is a birth defect and it's caused by maternal drinking during pregnancy and it's defined by or characterized by the child typically has some level of growth deficiency. They have a unique cluster of minor facial anomalies and they typically have either structural and or functional brain damage. One out of every 14 kids that we diagnosed with full FAS in this clinic, their moms reported drinking a glass a day. So the majority of individuals who have full FAS were in fact reportedly exposed to much higher levels, but one out of every 14 with full-blown FAS was reportedly exposed to just a single glass of wine a day. We're often asked, is there a safe amount to drink during pregnancy? And the answer is, since the same level of alcohol can do strikingly different levels of damage on two fetuses, that makes it very difficult to identify a single level that's gonna be safe for everyone. So it continues to be, the only safe amount is none at all. It is never too late to stop drinking. Even a reduction of alcohol use during pregnancy, if you've discovered you're pregnant and didn't know it and were already drinking, it's never too late to stop. It's never too late to reduce. Any level of reduction at any time during pregnancy will be helpful for the fetus.